Modern phlebologists have a number of non-invasive techniques now to deal with superficial vein reflux. Techniques such as endovenous laser, radiofrequency ablation, ultrasound guided foam sclerotherapy, and perhaps on the horizon, steam and superglue. Now, whilst this deals with the superficial vein reflux, and usually the varicose veins under the surface of the skin will decrease in size, getting a really good cosmetic appearance for people with large varicose veins remains a problem. Up until now, the standard technique has been to perform a microphlebectomy using a range of instruments that leave a linear scar. Uh, ophthalmic blades, uh, very fine pointed uh, blades, and even needles. Whilst these uh, instruments are good for small to moderate sized varicose veins, the problem still remains how to deal with big varicose veins. You have to make a larger incision and then you have to decide whether to orientate the incision longitudinally, transversely or obliquely. When removing a large varicose vein, these linear incisions tend to have a cleavage point at the ends and so as the veins are being removed, the incision tends to enlarge. Now no matter how well a linear incision heals, it always looks like a surgical scar. Well, since 2008, I've been using a one millimeter uh, circular dermal punch to make a small skin excision. It allows me to introduce my instruments and remove the varicose vein. But unlike a linear incision, when I'm removing a very large varicose vein, the defect will tend to stretch with the natural elasticity of the skin. And once the vein has been removed, the area will recoil back to its normal size, again with the natural elasticity of the skin. I'm going to show you the technique, and I'm going to show you some before and after photographs. The varicose veins are marked with the patient standing, and then the area is infiltrated with Klein's formulation of tumescent local anaesthetic. The one millimeter dermal punch is used with a rotatory twisting action to leave a circular defect in the skin one millimeter in diameter. The vein is then extracted using a vein hook. My own preference is the Ursh instrument, but other hooks work very well. Gentle traction allows delivery of the vein, and by serial adjustments of the clips, a long length of vein can be extracted. I like to use my thumb on the tip of the clip to produce an even traction on the vein. As you can see, I have marked the skin either side of the vein, and I use the dermal punch between the marker lines to prevent the possible risk of skin tattooing. Between the 1st of April 2008, and the 31st of May 2010, I have treated 299 legs by 2,126 phlebectomies. None of the phlebectomy sites tore or became infected. Patient questionnaires have confirmed high rates of satisfaction with the cosmetic outcome. There have been no cases of neotelangiectasia and no dyschromia at 12 months. There is intense vasoconstriction using Klein's tumescent local anaesthetic, and so there is virtually no blood loss. The one centimeter defect retracts further in size as the fluid discharges from the defect. Wound tapes are not required, and a slightly absorbent dressing is applied to each site. Here we can see the before and after clinical photographs. In all cases, 
the post-procedure photographs have been taken at six weeks. Even very large varicose veins can be removed through a one millimeter circular defect. So that's how I perform microphlebectomy using a one millimeter dermal punch. I recommend it to you because I think it has a number of advantages. It's quick. It produces a perfect one millimeter circular defect every time without regard to the orientation of the skin. It allows the easy extraction of even very large uh, varicose veins without tearing. The elasticity of the skin accommodates the varicose vein and once the vein's been removed, the elastic recoil of the skin leaves a very small defect, which gets even smaller once the local anaesthetic comes out of the area. I think microphlebectomy performed using a one millimeter dermal punch really does open up the possibility of truly scarless phlebectomy. My name's Dr. Haroon Gadraj, Director of the Vein Care Centre. Thank you for watching my video.